Hope everybody is doing awesome. This is Ty Sullivan with AO RV in Jackson, Tennessee. So behind me, obviously, is a Flagstaff E Pro. This one's going to be a 2024 15 FES. A little bit different kind of floor plan with the Murphy in the front. Big thing on this one, you're under 18 feet total. So we're not talking about just interior space, but actually from the tongue, under 18 feet. Our weight's a little bit high comparatively to some others, possibly but you're gonna have a lot higher payment with those particular brands too. So you're looking around 3,400 pounds dry weight on this. So you're still beneath where most SUVs, Jeeps, things like that are gonna be able to tow. So if you're at say the 4,200 pound and up, you're gonna to start to get into being able to tow this. Ideally around 4,500 plus would be where I'd personally wanna hit and that's where I am with my E-Pro and my truck combination. But with it being a Flagstaff, you're gonna get all the extra upgrades and plus some once we get inside this so here we go we're gonna flip this around and show you inside and out let me know if you're interested in this obviously it's sitting on the lot here in Jackson you can take it off my hands so Flagstaff E Pro has never disappointed me anytime I've seen anything they've ever done this year instead of the bright white exterior they've gone with a very light gray and that dark contrast in the black vinyl which I personally like, I think it still stands out. I'd be very interested to see from the actual manufacturer if this was more just aesthetic or if they had something else in mind with the materials. They haven't diverged too far from last year's either. So we still have our bike rack at the front, fiberglass front cap with that automotive glass windshield. We're still five side lamination, so that roof is still laminated. Propane tank cover, upgraded <clears throat> from what we've seen in the past. Lights are gonna be on the front too. Frameless windows throughout. <clears throat> Excuse me guys, it is fighting me already. So slam latches, you're gonna notice now. Love that. I love how the interior is fully plastic all the way around, so no more of the panels. If this part gets wet, you're perfectly fine. We have vinyl on the floor, so just a little easier. To deal with and every year Flagstaff across the board just kind of whittles away at the little things to make a bigger difference overall this is going to be a pass-through storage you can see your suburban griddle there goes all the way underneath our front Murphy bed and still everything weight bearing it's going to be aluminum it's aluminum walls aluminum underneath the bed Swintec system because that's a kind of a shallow box but we do have a slide topper here too. Now E-Pros are not fully enclosed and underneath, but we do have tank heaters. And we have upgraded jacks. So it's still a manual technically, but Lippert has this version of a jack there at the back. It's just a lot easier, a lot more stable than it was in the past. Blackstaff's still using an electric gas combo on your water heater. So if you're at a park, you can save that extra propane still very efficient and if you want you can run both simultaneously to get a quick recovery electric awning it's not going to be huge just because of the length of this overall camper and we still have an exterior speaker that's a marine single <clears throat> excuse me a rail for our griddle should have an additional tabletop too 110 outlet outside and then our quick connect tucked behind that axle that axle being what still a torsion so no leaf springs there rear receiver so even though this is a smaller travel trailer you can still tow an additional rack backup camera prepped and check out that arch at the top showing off that roof line it definitely sheds water things like that but it's just showing that lamination you can still walk on it so outdoor shower this one's really compact based on years past so you have a quick connect that goes into it and then all of our connections in one place which I personally love still LED lights that's gonna be expected at this point on the exterior and Asdale still being used on the outside Stable stairs, those just flip up and in. And speaking of in, let's go. So, the one thing you will notice from years past, 
standard door latch. So we're back to standard door latch. Obviously you can change this out for a keypad, but they're not doing a keypad anymore. But we do have thin shade ready. This pulls up to block that view from the outside in. And the first thing I noticed isn't even the TV. These are a lot more slim than what they've been in the past. A lot more smooth to me. There's our front Murphy with a couch. In this case, this is a recliner. So those are going to pop. Both sides kick out. They include a table and instead of it being freestanding this time, you now have a rail where you can move this around, take it out. We'll drop that Murphy in a minute, but that Murphy is very easy. You pull both tabs on each side, it comes down, and it pause locks. So you actually pull a pin to release it. This is obviously a smaller travel trailer. But look how big that TV is to only be maybe four or five feet away. Our AC is a Coleman. So they're still using the Coleman Mox. This one's a thermostat control, so not a dump. So a small travel trailer that actually has a thermostat. Still using the solid front cabinets. Very similar to last year's. Sticking in that same style. Cabinets here. These will pop out if you need additional hanging. But you do have your wardrobe left and right. You do have solar on top. There's going to be your solar charge controller and or inverter. And then this fridge is a smooth front. So no more stainless. It's going to be that glass, but it's still a 12 volt fridge. So that's going to be helped by your 12 volt system being tied to your solar, just like in years past. A little different on the stove top, so we're a two burner. What's interesting here, excuse me, get that out the way, we're a three burner. To me, I'm a little bit surprised they didn't do a two and give you additional counter space, but with the glass the way it is, it's a little bit of a compromise, but you do have additional next to the sink too. Convection microwave. So I think air fryer equivalent, or at least to me it is. Additional storage up top, full sink, all that jazz. I like that we have a view out of the back. And then you have additional outlets here, furnace below, and then our bath. Now the bath's gonna obviously be a little bit tight, but we do have linen storage. We do have our Max Air fan still. And that is a tub. I was very surprised to see a tub in a unit like this but they may have needed the extra space at the bottom for plumbing. Rounded so you get a little bit more headroom. Skylight so you get a little bit more headroom. And this is a soft closed commode so if you drop that lid, very light sliding door. Make things a little easier. Oh, there's our solar charge controller guys. Next to our thermostat. And let's drop this. So the fun part here is I'm going to try to do this with a single hand so you can see how simple it is. This has a single single screw that tightens this bar so it slides out of that rail. You see my handle at the front. Handle goes up and back. That's your jackknife sofa going flat. What's ironic is if you have a single person, you may just sleep on that, call it a day. But having that second person, you need additional sleeping. So this pops up and out. This whole thing comes loose. See my handle here? So it gives me something to hold on to. And the whole thing comes down. That is work. You hear that lock go in place. And then there is our full size bed. All the space vertically opens up. It's gonna be very, very reminiscent if not the same setup as what they've done in the past with ePro. Now getting in and out, I can already tell you're going to kind of be up and over from both sides and we are very narrow. I can get by, but you're not going to want this down all day long. 
Unless you're gone all day for hiking. But we do have a decent amount of space. Now I see a little bit of a cubby that automatically opened up. Most people are not going to leave this mattress strapped like this. So more than likely a mattress is going to slide into that position. Just kind of keep that in mind. And it's going to take that whole thing up so we're not going to have additional hidden storage areas that I can really see right now. Now I do see a wine guard antenna, so there's something there. And then to put this back up, and I know it's clunky guys, I wish I had somebody else with me, but that's your lock pin to get it started, just to release it. And I'm already gonna have to get to two hands. Here we go. Yep, two hands just to get it started. But now once we get it up, I can do all of this with a single hand again. And at least for the way the mattress is sitting when it's strapped, that's not held in position. So it's holding itself up. Good, robust piano hinge. And then I've noticed we do have gas struts that are assisting with that weight too. It's not insane, but it is a little bit of weight. So let's see if we can get this back in with just a single hand. And I cannot. So I have to grab the back side to get it to flip over. And I know that's clunky in the video. But there we go. The center should, yep, pull down for additional cups. And then we will pop out our recliner. And now when I say recliner, it's not gonna be like a full theater seat. It's just not. It's not like a full theater, but you can get your feet up. So that's something to keep in mind. It's all manual, manual release, manual push back. We don't have any of the others you're gonna see in the heavier theater seats, but honestly, it's not bad for me. I'm about 5'10", but look at my foot plate. So I'm hitting there. So if you're over 5'10", 5 5'11", 5 you're gonna be on the other side unless your feet are off to the side. Keep that in mind. But I can see everything from here. And generally be out of the way for anyone that's cooking dinner. Okay, so there's the 15 FBS from ePro. I'm fairly impressed. I didn't turn the lights on today because, well, we're getting rain off and on by the time I got out here to do that. It's gonna be insane and honestly, I like to show them in a way, worst case scenario. So, even with the slide in here, or excuse me, with the slide in here, you're not gonna have access to that back bathroom, but it's a shallow Swintec 12 volt slide, so that's gonna be very easy to just push in. You aren't gonna have to fight with that very much. Has a slide topper on top, that's an awesome plus. This one is ready to go as is, that you guys see. So if you're interested in something like this, definitely give me a call, okay? I'm gonna have my direct contact information not only on my channel, but in each description of each video. So very, very curious what you guys think on this particular one. Weight maybe could be a little bit lower, but they're gonna take a lot of things out of this camper. So if you are one that wants to go off-road, traditional camping, if you wanna do all kinds of things, an ePro is an easy way to get into that. Price point may be a little higher than what you're gonna see in some house brands, especially at particular dealers but what you get for it is all the lower maintenance associated with that fiberglass front cap, laminated roof, all the axle setups, all those small things add up very, very quickly to a value that you can put an additional price tag on. So let me know if you guys are interested in this particular one and I'll get you set up. As always, I appreciate you watching. Give me a like or subscribe and we'll see you guys next time.